Like Eddie Montgomery mentioned, his prostate cancer was treated with robotic surgery. Let's take a closer look at medicine on the cutting edge. Modern technology destroying the most hard to reach tumors without a single incision. Robotics more precise than a surgeon's hand, but as delicate as a master artist's brush. The future is now at St. Peter's University Hospital in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Equipped with their CyberKnife and Da Vinci surgical system, doctors are now doing what science fiction dreamed of just a few short years ago. The uh, Da Vinci system is a uh, robot system that we use to uh, do surgery. It con consists of a, a robot unit and a console where the, the doctor sits um, at the console and controls the robot. It's very precise. Uh, the instrument is, uh, I should not say it's uh, better than the human hand, but it's, uh, it's that precise in terms of emotion and movement. Uh, the instruments can get into places where really the hands can't, uh, very narrow spaces. CyberKnife is a, a, a radiologic uh, or uh, you know radiation-based treatment, which is not surgery. It's precise radiation treatment. The robot is actual surgery. It's devices like CyberKnife and the Da Vinci system that are making strides against a variety of ailments, including prostate cancer. But that's just one disease being conquered by these modern marvels. Well, initially, it was uh, used for prostate alone. Uh, now it's for GYN, GYN oncology. It's used for general surgery procedures, gallbladder, uh, colorectal uh, cancers, as well as uh, colorectal benign diseases. Uh, it's used for head and neck cancers, thoracic uh, uh, surgery as well. The um, robot is being used for many types of, of uh, disease processes now. Meet Mary Ann Stayuso. Her diagnosis of a brain tumor led her to St. Peter's University Hospital. I was terrified. I couldn't talk. I just was terrified. Everything showed me about surgery. Surgery is uh, 6 to 12 hours, uh, complications, paralyzation of the face, uh, droopy eyes can have a problem with your spinal fluid. I was just terrified. Mary Ann's fears were alleviated by Dr. John Lapani, a man she knew many years ago, who's now a neurosurgeon at St. Peter's. Uh, Mary Ann was the mother of a very good friend of mine uh, growing up in grade school. And they told her that she required brain surgery. And uh, so she reached out to me to find out if there were other alternatives. We were able to treat uh, tumors such as hers more effectively and safer and all without the need to cut. The procedure lasted, uh, I had to go three days in a row. It was like 45 minutes to an hour. There was no pain. It was my journey of cyber knife was just wonderful. If you can picture dealing with a brain tumor on your lunch hour and then getting up off the table and going and playing a round of golf, that's really where we're at. The quality of my life is, is wonderful. It's the same as it was before. It's a wonderful thing. Up next, how would you like 10, 20, even $30,000 extra a year in your wallet? If that sounds good to you, then you don't want to miss our next segment on what your unhealthy habits are really costing you. And later, manzillions, manis, petties, Brotox. When it comes to looking good, men are starting to take notice of what the opposite sex is doing, and they're taking it one step further. We've got the details that guys may not want you to know about. We'll be right back. This portion of Dr. Steve is brought to you by St. Peter's University Hospital, New Brunswick, New Jersey. Imagine treating cancer with knifeless surgery without cutting or stitching. It's happening right now with CyberKnife at St. Peter's University Hospital. CyberKnife's pinpoint radiation beams attack hard-to-reach tumors without destroying healthy tissue around them in just one to five treatments. CyberKnife at St. Peter's University Hospital, the ray of hope you've been searching for. For details, visit stpetershcs.com or call 866-702-2737. 